Hello friends, this video on Victor Algebra part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's take one more example. We have to find the unit vector in the direction PQ, where PQ points are given. Easy question, not the difficult question. I have this P, I have this Q. P is uh, 1, 2, 3 and Q is 4, 5, 6. Correct. If I have some origin here, this guy, so this guy is my Q vector. This guy is PQ vector again from P to Q. And this guy is my so P vector. So my PQ vector is nothing but Q vector minus P vector. Correct? Because P vector plus PQ vector is equal to Q vector. So PQ vector will be Q vector minus P vector. So my PQ vector is Q vector minus P vector. What is Q vector? 4i plus 5j plus 6k. 4i plus 5j plus 6k minus P vector 1i plus 2j plus 3k. 1i plus 2j plus 3k. Correct. So this becomes 4 minus 1 is 3i plus 5j minus 2j is 3j. 6k minus 3k is 3k. 3i plus 3j plus 3k. That is my PQ vector. I define the unit vector. This becomes PQ vector by magnitude of PQ vector. So let's find magnitude of PQ vector. So this becomes root of 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square. Right? This becomes root of 9 plus 9 plus 9, that is root 27, that is 3 root 3. So I have to find unit vector PQ. So this guy is PQ, that is 3i plus 3j plus 3k vector by magnitude of PQ vector, that is 3 root 3. So this becomes i by root 3 plus j by root 3 plus k vector by root 3 and that is my answer correct not the difficult easy one i had this p and q points i can very easily find pq vector and then i can very easily find unit vector in the direction of pq here we have to prove that the points a b c with position vectors given a vector is this b vector is this and c vector is this they form the right triangle so this is my a vector i have b vector and then i have c vector so i have to prove that these a b and c forms a right triangle. for right triangle square of two sides sum of square of two sides sum of square of two side is equal to square of another side so if i can prove this for this particular scenario that means it is right triangle correct pythagoras from holds true that means that the particular triangle is a right triangle so i have these vectors a b and c given this vector a is 3i minus 4j minus 4k vector b is given 2i minus j plus k and vector c is given i minus 3j minus so if i can find magnitude of ab vector magnitude of bc and magnitude of ac vector and then see if this theorem holds true that means the right triangle correct and that will be the approach you will be following because to prove that particular triangle is right triangle, the best way is if you can prove it's a Pythagoras theorem holds true. Another is we can prove that the angle between these two lines are 90 degree. But till now we have not learned all this thing. We will learn, I think, that in the next chapter. So we can't use that method. Now we have learned how to find the magnitude of the vector, that is the length of this A, B, B, C, and C. So we'll leverage that and try to prove using Pythagoras theorem. So vector AB 
will be nothing but vector b minus vector a correct this we have seen also so to prove let's say we can take this origin o here right so my this is vector b this is vector a so a b vector will be nothing but vector b minus vector a so this becomes what is vector b this guy 2i minus j plus k 2i minus j plus k this thing minus a vector a vector is this guy 3i minus 4j minus correct so this if you solve 2 minus 3 is minus 1 that is minus i minus 1 minus minus 4 that is minus 1 plus 4 that is 3j 1 minus minus 4 that is 1 plus 4 that is 5 5 k this is my ab vector similarly i will find ab is done bc and ca so let's find bc vector bc vector is c vector minus b vector correct bc will be c vector minus b vector this we know so i don't need to again draw the c vector so c vector is what this guy i minus 3j minus 5k i minus 3j minus 5k cap right all with caps minus b vector b vector is this guy 2i minus j plus k 2i minus j plus k correct so this becomes actually i minus 2i is minus i 3 minus 3i minus minus i there is minus 3i plus i that is minus 2 that is minus 2j minus 5i minus 1k that is minus 6k this is bc vector similarly ca vector i'll say is nothing but a vector minus c vector what is a vector 3i minus 4j minus k 4k so this becomes 3i minus 4j minus 4k vector minus c i minus 3j minus 5k i minus 3j minus 5k you solve this this becomes 3i minus i that is 2i 4j minus 4j plus 3j that is minus j minus 4k plus 5k that is plus k. so i got a b b c and c let's find the magnitude of a b so let's find a b let's find a b square because we are looking for a b square b c square and c a square right so a b square will be nothing but uh, 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square right 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square that is 1 plus 9 plus 25 that is 35 let's find bc bc square that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 6 square 1 square plus 2 square plus square that is 1 plus 4 plus 36 that is 40 similarly ca square will find that is nothing but 2 square 1 square 1 square 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that is 4 plus 1 plus 1 6 I found that this plus this is equal to 41 that is I can say that c a square plus a b square is equal to c square thus I can say it is right triangle with b c as hypotenuse and a as the perpendicular angle correct using Pythagoras theorem and using our methods which we have learned we have proved that these three vectors represent a right triangle very simple we have these vectors we found the side the vector of this a b b c and c a we found the magnitude of a b b c and c a and then we found that uh, c a square plus a b square is equal to b c square thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.